channel so today i'm gonna be giving you guys some ideas for um what to do if you're being quarantined and you don't know what the heck to do with yourself so these are just my personal um opinions on what would be some good ideas to do so you could distract yourself and hopefully it'll, it'll help you from going stir crazy if you haven't done some of these steps maybe it'll you know uh give you an idea so here we go so the first thing that i want to um suggest to you guys is working out at home obviously you know a lot of us can't go to the gym and then some people are actually kind of scared to be around others so walk um walking outside or exercising outside is not a, an option for them so i suggest um maybe you know buying some dumbbells like a pair of dumbbells and then maybe um endurance bands and using that as your workout and then just you know find a random video on youtube you can literally find anything <laughs> for anything so just you know like dumbbell workouts uh band workouts and yeah so that's one of my first tips to do just because and it's my first tip also because i feel like working out helps so much with mental health well at least it has for me it's a really good distraction and a really good stress reliever so that's why this is the one that i suggested first because to me it's um i personally feel like it's the most important but that's just me but in case you guys don't like to work out because i know there's a bunch of people that don't <laughs> um the next thing that i would suggest is maybe for all of you guys that and i'm pretty sure it's like the majority of us that uh went on a shopping frenzy with makeup and now we have like too much crap in our drawers so uh obviously a lot of us you know we don't wear certain makeup looks to work because we can't and now that you're being quarantined and you don't have anything else to do i would suggest maybe you guys play with your makeup and um you know switch out your palettes or even if you have singles play with those actually you know um use up your products or even give yourself like a like you know a pan pan in a week or like pan in a month you know so you have like certain products that you want to try to pan obviously it's not going to happen but i mean it can but you know just to give you a motivation to use it so yeah so i suggest maybe playing with your makeup products that you haven't used in a while or products that you bought that you haven't even used yet that's my uh suggestion for you guys and then going along with the makeup theme i would um suggest for all of us who are who do have um makeup products um and haven't you know like our eyeshadow bronzers and all that stuff and we use the makeup brushes it's i know it's been a while since most of us washed our brushes so including myself so that would be like another thing that i would suggest to you guys is maybe um getting all of your brushes sponges whatever you have um and washing them and just leaving them out to dry so yeah that's my next one and then um something else that kind of goes along with you know uh using up your makeup is maybe if you guys want to um play with your nail polishes i know a lot of us have a ton of nail polishes that we also don't use and i know a lot of you guys i don't i don't just because it doesn't work with my lifestyle but um i know a lot of you guys get like manis and petties and obviously you can't right now and you won't be able to in a while so why not get good at doing them yourself at home for free and you never know maybe at the end of this uh quarantine you'll be better than the nail tech probably not but you know i'm just saying <laughs> um at doing your nails so yeah that's another uh idea that i have for you guys is just you know start playing with your nail polishes and then for anybody that doesn't want to do makeup or nail polishes um i would suggest maybe kind of like a self-care for your skin so i would suggest maybe doing like a mask if you always feel like you don't have time or it's just too stressful because you're always having to run and do things but now that you have all the time in the world you can do a 20 minute mask <laughs> and walk around your house <laughs> um not doing anything so yeah so i suggest maybe doing like a mask or um there i know people do like different masks you know or like a steaming session where you go into the bathroom and you just turn on the hot water and you just steam your face so things like that and um i would also suggest for anybody that's tired of watching um netflix and hulu which i'll get to that later <laughs> um maybe just picking up or ordering a book actually online sorry mine's like dirty but i have put a a uh, cup on it so i suggest uh maybe you know buying your favorite type of theme books that you like if it be it you know my i love mystery books or if you just want like a random um 
books, like a silly random book that has like random facts about stupid things, things like that, that'll keep you distracted for a little while. Or even if you feel like, you know what, maybe now's the time to kind of have like a self-help type of situation since you have, you're at home and you're not being distracted by anything, maybe a self-help book would be more your style. Or even, um, even like puzzle books and things like that, I would suggest for you guys. And then if you're actually wanting to get a book, um, but not like one of these, um, what if I always suggest maybe for somebody that wants to write down their feelings, maybe just a regular notebook, and you guys just want to, you know, write down your ideas or your goals or, you know, just write things down that make you feel better. I know a lot of people do the whole, like, every day write down five things that you're grateful for, you know, situations like that, just to help you mentally not um, feel down with the current situation. So I would suggest maybe just a notebook for, like I said, anybody that wants to write down their feelings, ideas, whatever you guys want. I feel like this is a good idea. Mine, this is, I use mine for um, YouTube um, purposes. I have written down things like ideas whenever my daughter wants to do it just for fun. I'll do it with her. And yeah, and I just think it's like a really good idea for anybody that's, you know, if you don't want to read a book, maybe you want to write a book. <laughs> you never know. And then um, still going kind of along with the book theme for anybody that, you know, maybe you guys always felt like you never had time to cook. So you're always kind of eating out and obviously now you're stuck having to eat at home with those 30 packs of whatever you bought <laughs> at the grocery store. Um, I would suggest maybe like a like a cookbook with recipes. Mine doesn't have pictures on it. Wah, wah. But um, yes, yeah, so I suggest maybe like a cookbook for you guys. Oh, whatever your forte is. Oh, look at this. Um, whatever it may be. I know there's like keto books. There's air fryer books. There's um, crock pot books. Or like, you know, different types of diet books. This is a specific type of diet book that I just bought for myself. I haven't read it yet, but I will be getting to it. Now that I'm officially quarantined starting today. Um, but yeah so that or even if um i also bought this book it's from carrie underwood it's kind of like her diet regimen i mostly picked it up because i love her and her body is kind of like what what my body goal is like that's what i strive to look like so i decided to pick it up just because it kind of has her tips and tricks and, and things like that and it even has um workout workout um recommendations for you guys which i mean i obviously i'm gonna love that because i work out so so yeah so anything maybe like that or i even saw some books that were um like the jessica simpson book that one looks pretty good too i wanted to pick it up but i held back just because i feel like i have a ton of books that i need to get to but yeah so that is it's for the books and writing section and then in case you guys are not into books i know there's people that they just can't read books they're just it's just not their thing they get bored easily um i would suggest maybe playing video games be it your xbox um your playstation 3 or 4 i don't even know what generation they're on right now but one of those two um i know my sister loves playing i think she plays like call of duty that's not my thing i'm old school so i'm cool with my super nintendo and they still have these so in case anybody wants to just play like the old school mario and things like that you can still find these at target and anywhere else so in case you guys are like oh i want to play that i recommend this or even like a gamecube i have a gamecube but like i said it could be new school old school but personally i think once you start playing your old video games the old old school consoles you get so stuck on them way more than the new ones because i feel like the old games are way more difficult to play than the new ones so yeah so i really recommend this and then if you're not into um video games and you want to distract yourself with something that would be more challenging i would suggest maybe start taking photos i'm not a professional or anything like i'm not <laughs> so i'm not gonna sit here and give you guys tips on uh, photography but i do like taking pictures it makes me happy i like taking pictures of my kids and i haven't honestly in a long time just because i always feel like i don't have time to do anything but now that i um now that i am I'm actually going to try to uh, research my camera more. I, I use this for my videos. I'm using a different camera right now. But this is like for my videos and to take photos of my kids. But I'm, I'm a basic parent. So I do like the basic auto <laughs> um, control dial. But I'm going to hopefully try to figure out how to use this. Um, and all the settings and things like that. 
and manual setting that's like a big thing <laughs> for real photographers and using manual focus so if you guys want to challenge yourself you know maybe you want to learn how to use your camera it doesn't even have to be a digital camera it could be a, um, a film camera or if you've if you've always wanted to learn how to play the piano you can um, buy yourself a piano or if you already have one but just never got around to it just look up lessons on YouTube and get to it I mean we literally now officially have like all the time in the world <laughs> somewhat all the time in the world to do all these things and yeah so those are a couple of my suggestions and then in case you guys want some Netflix and Hulu suggestions for Netflix honestly I'm more of like a sci-fi horror mystery type of girl or like comedies so but um for Netflix I would suggest um shows uh, Dead to Me the 100 that one has like a lot of seasons so it'll keep you occupied for like two or three days um the rain that one has three seasons i think it's and then the new season is gonna um come around i think like two months or so um riverdale if you guys like that what else do i like um i think those are like those are it there's like so much stuff that i could recommend but those are like mostly my favorites so that's why i'm suggesting those and on Hulu, honestly, I, I would suggest you guys watch, um, uh, oh my god, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, The O.C., 90210, like, all the vintage stuff. I'm not, can't even say it. I can't believe I'm saying vintage, but all the old stuff that we grew up watching, in case you guys forgot. Or if you want to watch some trashy stuff, on Hulu, they have everything. They have Jersey Shore, they have the Kardashians, they have the Real Housewives, they have all your, um, ratchet shows on there, so if you wanted to get a little more ratchet you can watch all that stuff so i mean there's like so many endless things you can do and those are my suggestions for you guys i hope that was helpful and maybe you'll do some of the things that i suggested and if not we'll do something so you guys don't drive yourself crazy and thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time bye